Hey, what's up everybody? This is Kent Oberly. Today I'm gonna to talk to you about something that every single drummer deals with at some point in time in their life, blisters. I'm gonna give you the steps of how to care for a blister so that it does not keep you from performing. All right, step one, the skin. So a lot of times when you deal with a blister, the skin will actually lift up off your finger. Do not tear the skin off. That skin is very important for helping you heal quickly. Okay, so what you wanna do is once you, once you establish that you have a blister and you're done with your set and your finger is stinging, give your hand a good washing with some soap and water gently, okay? Then place that skin back on the, your hand, okay? Do not peel it off. That's the worst thing you can do. It can cause a lot more pain and can actually make your finger susceptible to infection, okay? Second thing you're gonna need, some AAA antibiotic and painkiller. This is your standard CVS brand stuff. Um, all you do is basically take this, take it, put it on top of the blister, and also you can lay it underneath the skin and then put your skin back down. Now this stuff is great. It will help you heal quickly. And uh, it also has a pain reliever in it. So it can help subside some of that sting that you're dealing with. The next thing you want to do is a band-aid. So this is like your standard latex uh, flexible band-aid. Um, so once you put the ointment on, you take your band-aid, put your band-aid over top of your blister with the skin down. Again, do not tear off the skin. All right, so there you go, you got your band-aid. Now the next thing is, and this is the, probably the most important thing next to the AAA, is self-adhesive cloth tape. Um, this stuff is a godsend. It's a, you can see it's cloth, it's very stretchy, um, and it's self-adhesive, so it sticks to itself. Um, the only thing you wanna carry along with this is a pair of scissors. So you just take this tape, wrap it around the Band-Aid, get it on there kinda good and tight, and you wanna get it on there, maybe do like a couple of rounds so you know it's gonna stay and then get to where the end is at the top of your finger. That way when you're playing, it's not gonna pull the bandage away at all. And you wanna cut it. Tearing this stuff, it just doesn't stick as good when you tear it. So just give it a good cut. It's actually pretty strong stuff, man. It takes a minute to cut it. There we go. Cut it and place it on there. Now the thing I love about this stuff is you can shower with it on. This stuff will literally stay on there for days, all right? You don't have to mess with it. It provides a nice grip for your sticks. You know, it's very flexible, so it doesn't feel like you have a lot of weight and everything on your finger. Um, but most importantly, man, it's very durable and it will stay on there. So leave that on there. Don't touch it. Take a shower, whatever you gotta do. Do not touch this until you wake up one day and your finger is a little bit starting to feel like it's sore, almost like a muscle soreness. That means that that skin that you put back onto your blister is starting to adhere, grow back, okay? So that's a good thing. So after that, you wanna take the bandage off, redress it, add some more AAA, add another bandage, and this. After that, if you get to where you don't feel like you need the bandage and you got some good skin, going and the skin is starting to grow back on, the next thing you can get is some super glue. This is Gorilla Glue, Gorilla Glue, um, but get you some super glue. And if you don't want to wear a bandage, get the super glue that has the brush. So that way you can take it and you can just brush it on there like a thin layer. And that super glue will actually help seal that and keep it clean from infection. It'll also kind of give you like another layer of skin. Um, so that way, allows that callus to build up quickly. So, Band-Aids, AAA antibiotic, uh, self-adhesive cloth tape, maybe some super glue and scissors. If you do that, you know, after, after about four or five days, you know, your blister will look like that. And you'll start to develop a callus, which we all want. Lastly, if you're developing a lot of blisters, it's probably due to your grip if you're interested in learning proper grip and how to play more relaxed, which will help you avoid blisters completely, check out my website, kentoberly.com. I have a hands-focused uh, hands lesson on there. 
If you shoot me an email, I'll send it to you for free. Peace out. Godspeed. Take care of your hands and your hands will take care of you. Have a great day.